You want to know how the Mavic Mini handles everyday situations for photo and video? Then this video will help you out. Hey guys, Felix here with Quadcopter Guide, and on this channel I help you get the most out of your drones and other filmmaking gear like your Mavic Mini. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today we're in a beautiful St. Andrea, Hungary, and unfortunately in this area it's very difficult to get permission to fly a drone. So instead of just flying it illegally, which uh, would of course be fun and I'd get some awesome shots, I can't expect you guys to be responsible drone pilots if uh, I don't lead by example. So I'm not flying the drone. What I'm gonna do is I built a rig, which you can see here. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a goof walking through this picturesque little town, and I'll show you guys what kind of pictures and videos I came up with shot on the Mavic Mini. So in this video, every shot that you see where the Mavic Mini is not in the shot, it was filmed or taken a photo with the Mavic Mini. All right, so let's get walking through the town and see what we came up with. Hey, real quick, if you want to cut down the time it takes to master a drone like the Mavic Mini, I am building a video guide specifically for this drone. If you want to learn from my experience of hundreds and hundreds of drone flights all over the world over the last, I don't know, six, seven years, then be sure to check out this link on the screen or the description below. All right, let's get to some of these pictures. All right, so we're on the computer and I'm in Illuminar 4. And I assume, maybe my assumption's wrong, but I assume that the typical Mavic Mini owner isn't going to want to spend hours editing each photo. So for these photos, which I took, in Centendre, I edited all the photos very quickly, two of which I messed with kind of the traditional type of adjustments, which you'll see in a second here, and all the others I used some of the built-in AI or artificial intelligence adjustments available in this new version of Lunar 4. All right, so let's jump into this umbrella picture here. So as you can see, it's kind of flat and bland. If you look at the um, built-in histogram here, there's a lot of highlights that are blown out. Maybe there's some details in the sky here even though this is a JPEG as the Mavic Mini only shoots JPEGs, maybe we can get some of these details back. Let's see what we can do. And if we go to info, you can see the camera, which is the FC7203, that's the Mavic Mini's camera. It shot it using the sunny white balance. And here's all the ISO, f-stop, shutter speed, etc. Let's see what this AI Enhance does. So here we've got a slider and you can kind of slide it around and you can see how it changes, okay. The key with photo editing is use a slider to see what it does and then before it gets obnoxious just take it back to get kind of that more natural kind of the not overdone look and let's see if we can mess with the highlights and the shadows a bit and so we're going to go over here to this kind of pro panel and the first one is advanced contrast and let's see what we can see here see how that first you can notice it in the umbrellas and then in the sky, you can see just a little bit more of the blue coming through. And then let's adjust the balance. Okay. So that looks pretty good, but that sky is still, still not what I want. So there's an AI Enhance, AI Sky Enhancer do, 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 right here. So check out what this does. Sorry about the fan noise, if you guys can hear that. See how in the sky we're getting a little bit of that detail back? I don't want to overdo it, but there. Okay, so what is our before and after? This was the picture before, and here it is after. It's a quite decent improvement, I must admit, for just being a JPEG. And of course, there's this kind of gimmicky little slider thing, so you can see the before and after. Or you can just click up here and see the difference. So that's how I edited this umbrella picture. So let's see what... AI, not AI, but these looks, they call them looks. Let's see what these looks can bring. So you go here. Okay, so the, the reds are popping quite a bit, but this is what that looks like. There's also, you can also make it the black and white. With all the rich colors, I don't think I want black and white. Contrast enhancer. So each one of these gives it kind of a different look. But for this one, so here we go. That's all I've done is this one little slider down here. 
and we went from this to this. So easy, and I think that looks good. All right, next up, we've got this one here. Now this was uh, interesting, but for the white balance, it chose the, the incandescent bulb. Let's continue trying out the, one of these looks down here because we don't want to spend a lot of time. We're busy people. And so let's go ahead and try, let's try the contrast enhancer. So that kind of, you can see what that does. Okay, and let's fix the white balance. So we're gonna go over here uh, to light, under the light bulb. And here you've got the white balance as shot. You can take this little dropper tool, pick on something white. This looked relatively white. So if we pick this, you can see it kind of changes the white balance. And I'm happy with that. So once again, before, after. Easy. And this one's gonna be super easy. You can tell that the saturation is just a little bit high if you have it at 100. So once again, you back it up until it's not obnoxious, but you can still notice it, something like that. So here we go, done. I like this picture here. It's got the Sega di Holasli Point Filevel. This is a Hungarian fish stew, which I personally am not a fan of, but I know many people that like it. It's just not my thing. Anyways, I like this picture because you've got this kind of old school gate door. You've got details in the tree and kind of the dark background and the pretty yellow flowers here. And for this one, we're gonna check out the contrast enhancer. There. So that's all I did for this picture. Before, after. A subtle change, but I like it. That one's done. You can see how quickly you can get pictures to look good. You don't have to spend hours of time. Of course, you could tweak each individual setting by yourself or go into much further detail. But why if you don't need to? I'm not gonna go through every single picture, but let's do this one real quick. Go down here. You can see this kind of overdone. How does something like that look? Before and after. Done. So you saw what I got out of the Mavic Mini's photos using Luminar 4. If you wanna check it out, it's free to try. Check out the link in the description below. Download it, play around with it. And if you like it, if you like what it does to your images, then I even have an exclusive promo code for you guys so you can save a little bit of coin. All right, enough of that. Oh man, I wish I could fly here, but it is what it is. Wait for the ducks to fly by. The great thing on this thing, I don't have to focus. <laughs> and I thought I had auto exposure lock on, but I looked down and apparently it's not. I invite you to go there, fill in your email address. Me want that key huh? Ah, ah. And the chocolate lab door is in the water. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> with a stick in his mouth. Go there, fill in your email address, and I'll keep you, and <laughs> the dog's joking, I will keep you informed of when that's available. Hey, thanks for watching. In the meantime, feel free to check out some of the other videos on the channel, like this one, or maybe even this one. Oh, yeah, I think that one looks the best, though. We should try that one. We'll see you next time.